Oh, yeah, thanks. I want to continue to follow that breaking news this morning, the wildfire that started overnight in El Dorado County. And this is where we find Fox 40's Chloe Curtis. They're live covering this local news that matters near Placerville uh, with the latest on the front lines of this fire. Chloe, good morning. Good morning, Richard and Melanie. Quite a few crews still out here on scene this morning. You can take a look just over my shoulder here, uh, you know, developing an action plan for trying to get some containment on this fire. Now, as of right now, we know that the fires burned roughly 67 acres, 0% contained at the moment. And this is a look at that plume of smoke over the area. We could actually see this plume uh, as far as when we were on Highway 50 heading this way a couple hours ago. Uh, so, you know, that it's plume of smoke very visible in this area. Uh, now, again, priority right now is just getting some containment on this fire. We've also seen several people evacuating this morning. Uh, evacuating from their homes, heading in, heading toward the shelter area. Also with their animals, we've seen several trailers uh, pulling horses trying to get out of this area. And I want to mention that this is a very windy road that people are taking. Rock Creek Road is what people under an evacuation order are being told to, to take while evacuating. And it's very narrow, so trying to get out sooner rather than later if you are under a warning uh, because that area very difficult to get two cars through, especially if multiple people are trying to evacuate at the same time. Uh, now, we know evacuation orders have been issued for the Mosquito and Swansboro community residents, again, taking Rock Creek Road if you do need to get out. And evacuation warnings also have been issued for a large area around this fire. Uh, we should have a map for that that you can see where those evacuation warnings lie. But coming out live again, taking another look at the smoke over this area right now. Definitely not as thick, I would say, as we'd seen a couple hours ago. But crews, of course, going to be out here throughout the morning trying to get containment on this fire again about 67 acres right now but we're going to stay at this staging area for you try to get some more information from crews about exactly how conditions are impacting this fight right now but as you can see it is a little bit breezy out here not i wouldn't say quite windy yet but again that's going to be a concern going into the morning but we'll check back in with you on conditions coming up here shortly Richard Melanie, back to you. Yeah, the, the big plume of smoke behind her, just intimidating. Now, she mentioned this, but I want to go back to the map of the evacuations. So, again, the red is where people have to get out now. And if you see, there's two little green dots below the fire, little green house looking icons. Those are the evacuation centers right now. So, this is in the Mosquito Swansboro community that residents are asked to get out. Evacuation warnings cover a lot more. They're asked to be told to be on standby or get out if you can. So, there's a shelter for large animals and for people to go to who have been evacuated evacuated and that is right there on your screen. Uh, you can download this by uh, going not only to our website but also uh, the Yuba um uh, I should say the Amador El Dorado County Cal Fire site. They have a link to this map or on the Crozier Fire update map from Cal Fire. It has all the details for you there. So as 